Hey, good morning YouTube. It's Saturday. And what do we do on Saturdays? We work on airplanes here at Fox 69. I'm the Wolf Pilot and once again we're in Uncle Steve's hangar working on November 8433 Tango and today we're putting the VOR antennas back together on the beacon top piece which goes up there okay you had a a washer and then a lock washer and then you put the other one the, on. there was just a lock washer the ring terminal and a lock washer and then the nut that's how that went on there say that again there was a lock washer a lock washer then you put on the ballon the ring terminal for the ballon then you put another walk lock washer and then the the nylock Home Depot is the airplane store. Actually, Lowe's has a better, wider selection of fasteners. Well, on, on airplanes, for some reason, they like the internal teeth, not the external teeth on lock washers. That's what 4313 says that they like. I don't know. Okay. Why. I don't know really what the difference is technically. Okay, that's on. And then there was one of these, right? So, uh no no i don't know what the hell that's the washer well, let me think. Pa ponder about this for a second i'm trying to remember if the uh, if if this wa maybe it was this washer then the ring terminal then a lock washer because i know that there was a washer, a the, the connector, and then the, the washer, and then the nylock. Um, maybe that, maybe that's how that was. Well, I know there's a wa there's a lock washer goes up against the nut, doesn't go against this. That's what I'm saying. So perhaps this is the piece. One of these nuts went on the actual stud. Then we put land the wire. Then put the lock washer then the nylock that's the way it should be. i think that's how it so was. we're gonna have to go do it up there yeah is this trying to balance these deals that's going to be painless in the butt so uh for tools we're going to need that socket wrench quarter inch drive socket wrench with the i think okay so we're going to have this and then we're going to have the ring terminal uh -huh. which is going to be pushed up against this then we ought to have another washer on the other side of the a ring terminal. A lock washer on the other side of the lock. No, no, no. Another washer on the other side of the ring terminal and then a lock hey. washer. Hey, good morning. How you guys doing? Hi, Jim. Jimmy. We are working on airplanes. You are? Yeah. What are yeah. you fixing today? The VOR antennas. Yeah, we're fixing huh? The VOR antennas. Oh. Let me go get a couple, was... let me couple more of these. I know this is not the way they did it, but this is the way I well, Oh, do you don't have you don't have a, something a diagram and a book to confirm since we both seemingly have forgotten? No, that, that is not oh. <laughs> is that a little one fifty out here? No, that's a one seventy two M. It is. That's no, what nineteen seventy five. Wow. Yeah. It looks really small <laughs> compared to this one. Uh, Maybe it's just the. Well, see, this 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 is this is a, a Braniff, you know. It's Braniff, the Braniff. with a big it's a passenger plane. It's a, and and that's a puddle jumper. So you know. Pain night four last, which I thought was something was wrong. Yeah, I, well, that she she had her first night without pain the other day. She thought that was amazing. It is. I mean, it's a big deal because it just wears. Because it on. wakes you up. Okay, Jay, I'm ready for this. Okay. Now, here, hand it to me and I'm going to hook it up. Take it up there and I'll hook that baby up. Then I won't lose my wire anymore. So, do you have a way of protecting that positive? Because I see you got a piece of... Okay, there it is. You got, it you got something that's going to keep that thing from migrating? Mm -hmm. Yeah, call the heat gun. Wow, um, hang on here. Is this actually going to... Oh, there it goes. All right, that's fine. Jim, uh, get that heat gun out. It's over there in the yellow box. All right. Yes, sir. I've been watching that funeral for Prince Philip. Boy, those British know how to put uniforms on, man. 
Well, I thought they weren't going to use military uniforms. They they all were military uniforms. You know, they were they were saying that they weren't going to do it. No, it was a military funeral. It was like a warrior funeral. It was very impressive. I didn't I didn't watch all of it, but um, what I saw it was definitely military. And they I don't know if they're going to have some parade, you know, going someplace where all the people can see all this shit or not. But it was like going from. Windsor to the chapel and how those dudes carried that casket up is amazing and they got halfway up these chapel stairs which mm -hmm. had to be 40 mm -hmm. stairs and they stopped and they stood there for holding that casket eight guys for a good 20 minutes on the stairs while they were doing their while they were doing all this bullshit firing cannons and all this I mean I, if I was one of those guys I'd be crashed on the floor man I mean it, <clears throat> they had to be in great shape to do that but uh, the uniforms. Okay, I don't know how this was connected. Oh shit. I mean, I know red wire to the red wire, but what does the black wire go to? To the white wire that's hanging down here. You got black going to ground? Uh, yeah, black is yeah, ground. Yeah, okay, black is ground. And the red wire goes toward the front because your fuselage is at ground. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> Good job. Very smart. All right, so there's also a way. Well, I can do just about anything except I can't get my socks on yet. But um, outside of that, things are going knock on wood. Pretty yeah, good. If you can hold it, I can do this. But I can't do it. There you go. Yeah, I can't, can't get my little gizmos together with one hand easily. Now I've got it. It's locked and I can't get it under. Okay, so this rock is hard. Nobody said these places are easy to work I mean, I, sure, they give it with like increased optimized connection surface, but mm. you know, the spade terminals are also pretty awesome. Just saying. Get this little sleeve. <laughs> Do you even have to shrink it? No, I'm not going to have to shrink it. I think it'll, I think it'll stay right there all by its lonesome. Yeah, I need a, you see, Jim, I want a pair of eight? wire cutters. The wire cutters? Uh, okay. We don't have a hand. Well, I got my knife on me. Oh, got to take the dental floss off. Go ahead, hold this, hold the stroke. Okay, you got the knife? Yeah, it's right here in my pocket. Unlock. Off the blade. Um, I got a knife. Uh. Okay, 86th gloss. I love my Kershaw. There you go. All right. So that goes there. My son gave those away to his group at the head of his wedding, mm -hmm. Kershaw yeah. knives. Sure. Mm -hmm. Including well, see, I shrink sleeve this one too because it uh, was starting to fray. Let's see. What are we doing? You gotta figure them out first. Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Man, they gotta choke that. Yeah. No, what? The deal is you gotta get them choked down together. Yeah, you, you gotta get them real close. And, and then, then they, then they cooperate. Well, that's gonna hold. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Okay, now we need to knock it. Cut that deal. And then you hold it and I'll tie the tie on it so we don't lose this guy. Okay? I got it. Right. Hold the... right. Don't cut him. He's on blood there. He'll bleed out up there. <laughs> yeah, that's a concern. Okay, so... Okay. Now this one, I don't know if it's going to stay put. What, that deal there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it ain't going anywhere. I have no concerns about that whatsoever. Okay, let me tie this real quick here so we don't lose this... I should do some somewhere laying over there. We had that one of those that big white bread tie. Oh, there it is, right? Where it is laying on that other tool bench somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is by that. It looks like Jim. It's there by that compass fluid. You see a, a red a big long red tie by that compass fluid. Compass fluid. Right big, there. Big long red one. Big white. No, is there a white? Wire tie there, red tie. 
No, bread. I'll, I'll take it all. Oh, here, 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 here. That's it. That's what we're looking for. Some shit. Man, I'm glad. Uh, that's oh, a good. Shit. That's a good find. It's very handy. Ooh, this oh, is, this is. This is. Uh, I should be dead to my grandfather. No, oh, just oh, wait, deal there. He go. I got some just, just I, need, that. I need two of these screws. I need four of these nuts. Come up there and touch that. Well, that's it, what it, it is. It's that's what it is. So it doesn't matter if it touches it. Okay. So at this point, what we're looking for. If you hang on to the strobe. Okay, I got the strobe. All right, let me reach down here and grab a dipole. And I could have got that. Wait, I, um, didn't, I didn't get the bread tie on you. Hold, hold this and let me get the bread tie on. That. Got the strobe? That's our safety. Our safety wire. Yeah, my grandfather sent me in a garage he had filled with everything you can think of. I need these nuts and these bolts. Yeah. And he knows right in the hell where they are. Yeah, and I'd knows. wander around in there and, God damn it, what's taking you so long? Okay. All right, so. Okay, and I'll hand you the screws. All right, so this guy goes in there like so. And so, and then I think, uh, so you've got all the all the nuts and no, stuff. No, I got them right here. Jim, okay. Jim's going to hand them to me. Yeah. Right? Okay, do you, so do you want me to uh, me. land them? Huh? Do you want me to land those terminals and all that stuff? Because yeah, one thing I was fighting is being underneath this cover no, made I, it more I got interesting. You. I'll hold it up right. Okay, that's cool. Now, Let me reach down here and get this other die pole. Okay, here, here, here's, oh, you're going to hook and, them up one at a time, aren't you? Uh, I'm, I'm going to, what I'll do is... No, let's hook up one at a time. That way I can hold, here, let me give you the hardware. Hold okay. it, just hold it real quick. I, 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 hey, Jim, stroke? Give me a set of hardware. Just one of them, not all of them. No, it's all, that's it's just one, one set. One one yeah, I, Don't you want the whole set? No, I got it. Here. Okay, so actually, we're, this is dangerous. Passing stuff over the open. I know. So I was just thinking are, about that. Okay. Uh, let's get see. that on. All right, hang on. All right, so this yeah. washer goes on there, okay, and let then let me take. Let me tilt it first. Let me get a towel or something to put on there. No, it's it's pull up over there. I don't want you to drop it. Yeah, I'm going to take shit. this little safety deal right here and just stick him there and do as much as much leash as possible. She's looking for me. She has no idea where I went. It's going to be hard. That's why I said they need to be longer. So uh, you, well, it's not, it's not because they need to be longer so you can work with them. We should have put it all together and stuck it up in there and then tighten it. Yeah, would we have build the whole assembly down here mm -hmm. and then send the coax down that way, which would have been all right. So let me have, uh, I guess I need another. I got one terminal landed. No, they're not. All right, folks. Uh, just a quick little thing. We got the coax and everything fed down the wire. We got to make one more connection here, and uh, we'll be ready for a smoke test. All right, so we're smoke testing the upper strobe. Steve's in the cockpit. Master on. Well, flashing? No. Oh, I turned the wrong thing on. Flashing? Yep, we have we have flashage. All right, we're good. All right, so now we're going to finish buttoning up that deal up there. Put this cover plate on here after tying up all these wires. Actually, I got to reconnect my coax. That, that's important. I'm going to forget Mr. Coax to have all this work we did repristinating the VOR antennas. Uh, I got some YouTube videos to send you on the, some Avidine something, or is it, yeah, it's Avidine or Dynon, I forget, whatever Martin Pauly put the weather boot on this little bad boy. Wow, that is, that is just snazzy, that weather boot on there, I'm sorry. You need, a, need more bread tie on that or something? Uh, probably something here to uh, do a, a service loop, because they had, in a previous incantation, they just jammed it back through the grommet. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's exactly what you want to do, and we could kind of shove it there up in this little area here. Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. I'd almost rather use wax string and, and do a do a service loop. And of course, everybody's going to be Where watching this video and tell me telling us how wrong. Here, step up, step up for a minute. Let me get Oops, this. Sorry. Where do we put the wax string? I can't oh, remember. Here it is. It's just, it's just got wax string right here. So what I could do. You know how to do that tying? Let's see. Uh, well, I don't know, but I did spend the night at a Holiday Inn Express. Where they gave you a course on on what on, 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 on astro astrology and rocket science and and that's all over breakfast and it's with a stale muffin. Do you know they do uh, they tie with string on the on the space shuttle? I don't doubt it because zip ties can break. They don't use wax because they said the wax uh, hardens up in space, but they do use the, the string. I bet they have some other uh, para, well, paraffin is wax. No, that, that, yeah, they probably got. They probably got some silicone something or another that that's good to what 400 degrees Kelvin below Kelvin or I don't know something. Man, you'd think I was 65 years old working this string. Get this extra feed loop here. That can work. Proper instrument. That loop is tied and tucked up here out of the way. It will not be interfering with the control cable for the rudder. Looks, she looks, she looks good. Now to finish securing all the screws on that guy. All right. <laughs> so, folks, it is 12:40, and we have wrapped up the reassembly. Of the VOR antennas, they look look great. I think they might actually be tilted up a few degrees high. I don't, don't think that will really make any damn difference, especially since the nose of the air. Well, we'll see. I don't know how many people who deal with VOR antennas and how if they should be perfectly parallel with the, the surface of the plane. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I can raise the tail. Oh well, yeah, so now I. I don't know if they're supposed to be sticking up, like up at an angle, more supposed to be kind of level. But well, as Granddaddy Bob would say, you wouldn't notice that on a galloping horse. No, 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 no. They're invisible when you fly. So I mean, get up there and get that extension cord so I don't yank them out. All right. So that concludes our work day. We've tested the upper strobe; it's working, and uh, we're not going to be doing any flying today. But it's really wet and soggy here at Box 69. Anywho, uh, ooh, high contrast. That's it. Uh, I think, I don't know, the next time we get to fly might be uh, out to Greenville for airplanes and coffee. That's going to be yeah. epic. Uh, you guys stay tuned and we'll see you down. We'll see you down there somewhere. Peace. Keep your nose down in the turns. <laughs>